Welcome back to Strategy in Small Doses. It's been a while since I have mentioned this, so if you have been listening for a while and you have not yet left a review, I would really, really appreciate it. If you did, just go on over to iTunes or Spotify and leave a review and also share this um, podcast with your friends. I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, share it on your Instagram, tag me, use hashtag strategy in small doses. Um, you know, with podcasts, that is really the only way for us to really get the word out there is through word of mouth referrals. So um, just a quick minute to remind you and let you know how much I appreciate that. So please go ahead and do the, do so if you haven't already. Okay, today we are talking about positioning versus packages. And what I want to talk about here is, is, are you speaking to the right audience? Like, are you positioning yourself in the market the way you are thinking you are and with the, are they in alignment with the packages that you currently have? So um, let me give you an example of this. I was speaking with somebody who is a copywriter and she really is a very high end SEO driven, results driven with Google. She works a lot with Google SEO um, and she does a lot of really high end content writing that is SEO driven from a copy standpoint, okay? But when you get on her website and when she's talking to her market, she's really speaking very generalized copywriting, landing pages, sales pages, blog content, social content. Like it's not really speaking to the client that she's trying to attract, right? The client that she's trying to attract is one that really wants to be get found on Google. But that isn't everybody. That's not important to everybody, okay? Some people really wanna build their business on social media. Some people really wanna build it through speaking, etc. So not everybody, not every client that needs a copywriter is going to want that person that can really write SEO-driven content. But she's not speaking to that. And that's what I'm saying, is that if when you move up into that next level and you start to level up in your business, right? You're trying, you've hit that ceiling and now you're pushing through it. You what happens a lot of times is we change our packages, we change our pricing, we change all of the things to really speak to that next level. You might raise your prices, but yet we tend to still speak to the audience that maybe is not at that level, right? So let me give you another example. I was speaking with a prospect who his pricing um, was, he does LinkedIn content, okay, writing, and his pricing was, you know, fairly high, not for what he was offering, right? So there's a whole difference between what he was offering and what he was charging for it were completely out of alignment. That's another positioning standpoint because like sometimes when you offer so much value at not a really great price, or a low price, people don't really value the position you're putting yourself in the market. So that's a whole nother conversation. But my point is, is that his price point was speak, would speak to somebody who was earning well over six figures based on because of the level of outsourcing and the, the cost, the investment to work with him. But he's speaking to solopreneurs, new business owners, etc. Well, new business owners, most of them, 90% of these new business owners aren't going to have that amount of revenue to outsource and invest in based on his pricing, right? So again, there's a positioning issue, right? Your, your packages speaks to one, but what you're saying speaks to a completely different audience. And you've got to get those two in alignment if you want both of them to sell and you want to attract those right fit people. Because the last thing you wanna do is get on and start attracting and have all these discovery calls just for people to say, oh, I'm sorry, that's out of my budget, or no, I'm sorry, this isn't a good fit, that's not what I was looking for. The reason that happens is because you're speaking, you don't have yourself positioned in the market to speak to the right people. And so 
you've got to make sure that if you're going to change those packages and you're going to, you know, and you're going to bring yourself up to that next level, you've got to make sure you actually bring your messaging up and your position, your authority in that industry. This comes with confidence. This comes with experience. Like you've got to really maintain that confidence to say, this is who this package is for. This is who it's not for and really build up that authority so that you, again, you're attracting the right people. But a lot of times what I see is this misalignment between who you're trying to attract and who would be able to afford to invest in you, the people that value what you're bringing to the table versus how you're speaking, they are not in alignment. And that's when you start to get burned out. That's when you start to get bitter. That's when you start to really discredit yourself and start to get that imposter syndrome like people are paying. It's not that at all. It's just simply a messaging issue. It's simply a position in the market issue, right? And that's really all it is. It's a simple fix. And so sometimes it's really hard to see that, like where that gap is and what's missing. But when you can, and so I would really encourage you to look at it and say like, who is the person that I'm trying to attract? Like who is the ideal fit person for this package or service? And what are the things that they're struggling with? How much, you know, what are they bringing in for revenue? How many clients do they have? Again, this talks about like really identifying that avatar, which, you know, I'm on the fence with, but you've got to know a lot of times it's a matter of like, where are they at in their business? Are they at the same level as you? Are they a level above you? Are they a level below you? Um, because then you can really start to curate your content, your messaging, and everything that you do to make sure that you are 100% in alignment with both your position in the market with the packages that you have, all right? That really, um, so let me, you know, just to reiterate, I'll give you another example. Like I have a client who is really advanced, does some really advanced VIP day implementation, um, project management stuff, but her price, she's raised it fairly high, which is good because what she's doing is extremely complex, but you've got to speak to that business owner that has a team full of people that they're trying to manage, a, you know, a fully booked calendar of clients. They're bringing in, you know, a hundred to $200,000 a year in revenue, right? Because that is the client that's going to be able to, or need the investment into her services. You're not going to speak to somebody just starting out in business and telling them how wonderful this is and how much you can help them and then throw a big, you know, that's not where they're at, right? They don't need that yet. So think about that. Like if you're feeling like your products or your services, like if it's falling flat, if your sales are falling flat and you're feeling like I've got this really great offer and it's just not selling, really take a look at how you're positioning yourself. Go back through your posts. Are you speaking to the client that truly needs that offer? I would be willing to bet you're not, okay? If you want me to take a look at this, because this is something that I can usually pick out pretty quickly, it's just what I'm good at is looking at it going, well, you're not talking to the right person or no, you know, that's not what they're valuing or whatever it is. You know, I did this with somebody the other day on a product. She's like, can I show you my sales page and let me know your, and I immediately could tell you're not speaking to the right person. So if you need help with that, like send me an email, shoot me a DM, whatever, and let me take a look at it and we can talk about it and really then we can position you in the right place. But you've got, you. there's more than likely there's a disconnect, okay? So take a look at it and if you still can't figure it out or you're still feeling like, okay, I know I've got this issue, but now what? Let me know, all right? We can work through that um, either through a power hour, one-on-one, -on -one, or just, I can, I'll just take a look at it. I can honestly just take a look at it and say, Here's what I, a small tweak I might change. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.